so, so it's not healthy. Any kind of particular apple or...? No, I think, you know, free reign. If it gets the catwalk queens back into the size zeros before a show, then what will it do for me? Right, I'm going to have to clear out my cupboards if I'm going to be only eating apples because this is going to be too much of a temptation. Farewell, old friends. Till we meet again. I tell you what, I'm going to get really bored, really bored of eating these. My tummy's rumbling already. I'm going to be really hungry in about 12 minutes' time. A week later and 40 apples down, I've lost a pound. My dismal weight loss led me to my favourite restaurant. <laughs> Tell you what, apple diet, mission failed. After my first failed mission, I began to think maybe dieting wasn't the way to go. I wanted a quick fix solution that would ditch my fat without ditching my food. I eased myself in gently by having a deep abdominal massage that actually shed seven centimetres from my waist. OK, so we're at 83 centimetres. 83? 83 centimetres. And we were at 90 before. That is incredible. But it also played havoc with my toilet habits. Then I decided to do something more drastic and I underwent surgery. You see that? I'm now left with... Bad arm, good arm, fat arm, thin arm. So, surgery wasn't the answer either. But I wasn't prepared to give up, and my quest continued with a mixture of mad diets. Join me later to find out what was also on my hit list. The second person we're meeting is supersized Stefan Ginesi. He's been morbidly obese for the past 10 years, and he's a foodaholic. 36-year-old Stefan is a milkman who has a serious love affair with food. Oh, I have a very wonderful relationship with food. We are together most times. With 3 a.m. starts, his feeding frenzy begins with an early morning trip to the local bakery. Oh, the smell of Danish pastry and the bread, and it just... It just has me at hello, and I, that starts my day off, and from then on, it's, it's just a downhill tread to destruction. Sausage rolls and cheese, big cream finger bun, and I would feast on crisps and coke and scone, and anything that's eatable gets in my road is just doomed. But his overeating is standing in the way of any real passion in his life. I think when you're talking about relationships, when you're this size, if you can't love yourself, you're not going to invite anyone into your life to love you. Over the next five days, Stefan will be swapping diets with 41-year-old super skinny Elizabeth Young. She weighs in at just six stone two pounds and sees food in a very different light to Stefan. I don't have a bond with food. I can take it or leave it. I'm not emotionally connected to food. To me, I, I see food like petrol in a sense that you only put petrol in a car when the car needs it. So I put food into my body when I need it. It's now time for Dr. Jessen to work out the scale of Stefan's problem. You are 485 pounds exactly. That's a whopping 34 stone 9 pounds, nearly three times heavier than his recommended weight. Stefan's waist is more than three times the size of Elizabeth's. I've worked out your body mass to be 67. That is the highest body mass I have ever seen in anybody. We would call morbidly obese a body mass of about 50. Morbidly obese means heading for an early grave. You ain't gonna make 40. I'm not ready for Dan yet. Uh-uh. I've got life in me yet. I've got a drive in me. I want to see my niece grow up. I've just... I want to live. They say opposites attract, so with a 28 stone difference and contradictory views on food, could this diet swap be a marriage made in heaven or in hell? Well, we're about to find out. It's time for Super Size to meet Super Skinny. I'm Stefan. Hello, yeah, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. How, how are you? I'm all right. Good well, look where we have found ourselves, eh? Oh, my goodness, mate. So, I'm really, really 
big. Yeah. And, and really small, they tell me. Well, 34 stone of wow. sheer... You don't look 34 stone. Do I not look 34 no. stone? That's fantastic. Do I look 34 stone now? Um, it looks you like wear this. it well. Thanks very much. Before Dr. Jessen can enlarge Elizabeth and slenderize Stefan, he needs to open their eyes to their extreme eating. This is what you tend to get through in a week for your breakfast. Let's have a look. So this is your dried cereal, because you don't have milk with it. You have orange juice, that's the banana. Half a banana. And I bet there's some nuts coming in, because I remember you have Brazil nuts Brazil as well, nuts, don't yeah. you? That's an entire week's worth of breakfast. Let's move on to lunches now. Do you like garlic? No. Oh, dear. Rice? You like your turkey curry type things, don't you? Mm. And pasta. Can I just say something? Absolutely. I yes. had no idea I was eating so much. <laughs> you think that's a lot of food? It's a lot of food. Elizabeth may think this is a large amount of food, but she's only eating a shockingly meager 1,000 calories a day. This means she's under eating by 7,000 calories a week, or three and a half days worth of food. I want to turn and have a look at what it is Stefan eats. Let's go. Sausage rolls, nice start to the day. What's that? Scones. Scones, yes. okay. That's sausages. Cheese. Sausages. Uh, is this sort of 10 a.m. breakfast? Where are we up to? 8 a.m.? You're 10? into the burger section. Here come your snacks, by the way. Crisps, family-sized bags of chocolate and sweets. How much colour would you drink during the day? <sighs> Maybe two, three pints. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ever had Irish stew? No. no. You're going to love it. Um, I've never had it like that either. I don't even know where we're up to. I'm completely lost with you. But it's, I'm a, lost myself, it's a constant yeah. intake of huge, huge quantities of food. Stefan is gobbling down a whopping 8,590 calories a day. That's 60,130 a week which is an overeat of 16 days every week. Good luck, Elizabeth. Do you want a spoon? Day one of the diet swap, and Stefan has his first encounter with Elizabeth's diet. Oh, what have we got there, Elizabeth, young lady? Recognise anything? Oh, no, I recognise the banana. There's these are prunes. Oh, I haven't seen them from what was about nine. And these are Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts. I haven't seen them since there was chocolate on them. Okay. So. And for Elizabeth, it's a saturated fat delight. Two sausage rolls on white baps with cheese, lashings of butter and double mayo, all washed down with a glass of Coke. OK, tell my mama lover. The dried prunes feels like I've just reached in to the waste disposal and took out some big, dirty old tea bags. I don't necessarily like Brazil nuts or prunes, but they serve a purpose, so I eat them. Okay. If Stefan thought the prunes were bad, that was only the tip of the iceberg. Whilst he dishes up a hearty shepherd's pie for Elizabeth, he gets chicken and rice sprinkled with her signature ingredient. Four cloves of raw garlic. OK. Oh. But the garlic is medicinal. Yeah. It's, it's medicinal, all right, yes. <laughs> yeah, I could find another word for it, but it, it didn't do nothing for me. It didn't simulate me. It didn't give me a drive. It didn't give me a kick, but it gave me a taste in my mouth, uh, much like sucking a 2P would give you a taste in your mouth. Super skinny Kevin, who is two and a half stone underweight, has swapped diets with supersized 26 stone Julie. It's breakfast on day three of their swap, and Julie uses her motherly persuasion to get Kevin to eat a proper breakfast. She presents him with a full English. But you ever have a fry up? Yeah, but really, really, very rarely. This is like what I've got for breakfast. Eight biscuits. You sit there and eat eight biscuits. Could easily put a couple of bits of toast in or put, do yourself a bowl of cereal. But as usual, you're sitting there eating every single bit. Look at it, and you wonder why the size that you are. But you're still eating it. I'm not saying, I'm, it's not about me for a second. Mm. You say this, but every single morning you've had really like full meals first thing in the morning. And you, you, know do, what? you wonder why the size you are, though. No, do you know what? Why, why? And every single morning you've eaten it. Have you enjoyed that then? It's all right. Yeah. Enjoy your biscuits. If someone cooked you three or four meals a day, you would sit there and eat every one of them. No? OK. 
Can we start? I need the toilet. I don't mean to moan at him. He can moan at me just as much for being the size I am, but I just think he needs to understand that um, he's got to stop making them excuses first. You all right? Yeah, have you finished your breakfast biscuits yet? Yeah? No, nearly. I've upset you. No, 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 no. I just need to know. What's the matter? Nothing. Serious? What's the matter? Is it hitting home a bit? Yeah. I am realising about myself and realising that I am after going to make some changes when I do go back home to my own life. If you are underweight and are looking for some tips to fatten up, here are some golden rules. Always eat breakfast, ideally high in carbohydrate. Eat three healthy snacks a day to have in between your meals. Drink one and a half to two litres of liquid, ideally this should be mostly water. Include good amounts of lean protein in your lunch and dinners exercise as it helps to build muscle the government recommends five 30-minute workouts a week at lunchtime supersize Julie is still waiting to eat a proper meal for Kevin it's a full fat cheese and tomato sandwich with thick oven chips and for Julie it's only a fizzy drink You know, in three days, I've worked out I've had eight bourbon biscuits and a scrambled egg sandwich. <sighs> it's scary, I know it is. It's awful. I could really eat that in a moment. It was really nice. It looks really nice. <laughs> Unbelievable. You just filmed that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, disgusting. That is really good noise. <laughs> It's the final meal in the feeding clinic, and Kevin's in for a treat as Julie has cooked up roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, and all the trimmings. Unbelievable. And Julie can't believe her luck. After four days of just snack food, she's finally getting her first real meal, scampi and chips. So, our last meal. Save the best till last. I hope it works, Kevin. Yeah, I hope it works for you as well. Yeah. That was beautiful. Cheers. Here's the losing weight and putting weight on. Oh, bless. Back to our second swap. And after a couple of days on Stefan's diet, Elizabeth needs some time out and opts for her favourite pastime, dancing. This could be just what Stefan needs to win a few hearts back home. I'm gonna get you dancing. I have rhythm, I have rhythm. Look, 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 this body has rhythm. All right. Okay. That should make it easy then. All right. Cue the music. It's a little bit of freestyle. Yeah. Just put out some rhythm. Dancing is a great form of exercise. If Stefan was to dance for 30 minutes, he'd use 600 calories, the equivalent to a roast beef dinner. An average person weighing 10 stone would use 152 calories after 30 minutes of dancing. But if you've got two left feet, there are other ways to keep fit. A 10 stone person would use 95 calories doing 30 minutes of cleaning and 127 calories doing 30 minutes of gardening. There's no excuse to not exercise. Concerned that his dance partner might be hungry after their workout, Stefan treats Elizabeth to one of his favorite snacks, a burger. I know how to get out a woman's heart, quite literally. And we have to give her a heart attack. Please, no more food offerings. Unfortunately for Elizabeth, only 60 minutes later, dinner arrives, and it's not small. It's a large portion of fish and chips. Had I not eaten everything else today, I would have been able to eat that, all of that. And for Stefan, time really is standing still as he faces another meal packed full of raw garlic. It's going to be a 10 mile zone around me in London with my breath. Mm -mm. I'm not going to be able to walk anywhere. <laughs> It's two full days now without caffeine, without the sugar, without the constant feed of food. 
I think it's just brought my emotions down a little, and um, the normal sparky self has just been it's just a little subdued. Things don't get any easier for Stefan, and by dinner time he's famished and in urgent need of a decent meal. Perhaps something like he's served to Elizabeth, fish with cheesy potatoes. But no, it's more pasta with raw garlic. Mm. And for dessert, Stefan's got a bowl of high fibre bran mixed with yoghurt and apple. And his goodwill is wearing thin.